Hi everyone! I just wanted to give you a little calculator tutorial to show you how to use the percent change function on your BA2 Plus calculator. Um, it's a fairly easy calculation, but this is really good practice for some of the other functions we're going to use on the calculator going forward. Uh, so good idea to practice, check your answers with the notes, um, and just get a feel for using your calculator. So in order to get to the percent change function, you're going to use this yellow second function button and then you're going to press 5 so it's got that little percent change above it. This is going to get you into percent change land and you've got some variables here. So I can scroll between them using these up and down keys. I've got the old value, new value, percent change, and number of periods. So this is not something we're going to be changing so you can always leave this one as 1. So I'm going to work with um, one of the first examples in the notes and so it's a 22 or sorry $20 an hour um, pay that gets increased by 10%. So in order to put those values in, you want $20 as your old hourly rate. Now if I just put in $20 and I scroll away and go back, it doesn't stay. So I have to put $20 and I have to hit enter. And notice how this little equal sign appears, and that tells me that that answer is locked in, or that value is locked in. And then if I scroll away and come back, it's still there. So I'm going to scroll down and look for percent change so that I can put that 10% in here. One thing that you need to know about the calculator, when you put percent change in, you do get to put it in as just a percent. So when we use it in calculations, we have to convert it to a decimal. That's not the case when you put it in your calculator. I'm going to hit enter and that locks it in so I know that equal sign is there. I'm going to scroll back up to my value that I'm looking for. So I have all the other components input um, and I'm looking to find out what is my new value. So I've got new on the screen, that's what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to hit this CPT button that CPT stands for compute and it's going to give me the answer for new based on the old and percent change values that I put in. And so you can change uh, or input any two and find the missing third value this way. If you want to clear out all of the values that you've put in, you're just going to go second function clear and that's going to reset everything to zero. If you are finished with this percent change function and you want to go back to normal calculator work, second function and then quit. So second function CPT and now I'm back to my normal calculator function and can go ahead with other calculations. So give it a try, check it with some of the answers from the notes, make sure that you're comfortable using your calculator.